Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Well, good morning. Hey, Nick Collier here, and uh, we've got another project for you. Uh, this guy calls up from Reno. Oh, it must have been a month and a half, two months ago. And we've had a, just this running conversation back and forth. He's got a, uh, a sawmill, and I'm not exactly sure what he does, but it's, you know, it's a big production. And uh, his machines are beginning to wear out, and of course, you know, they're older machines, and uh, so he needs to re-up them. And uh, so I started doing uh, smaller projects for him just to kind of get a, for him to get a feel for me and me to get a feel for him. And, uh, and this is one more of a small project. And at some point or another, he's going to kick some bigger projects to me uh, so that uh, he can bring his assembly line back up to, to snuff. So, uh, this project here, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this because the lines are so so uh, thin. I mean, I can see it. Um, it's basically an uh, inch and a quarter wide, one inch thick, or, yeah, uh, and what's the length of it? I can't remember what that length was. It was something like eight inches or something like that. Uh, a bar with a kind of a square cut out of one side and then two slots cut in the middle with countersinks. Oh, and a couple of holes. No big deal, right? Okay. So we're going to go take this over to the saw and saw these to length and then bring it back to the mill. And we've got uh, the only material we could come up with was inch and a half and uh, uh, it's an inch and a quarter. So we're gonna have to take a quarter inch off of the top of this right out the gate. Um, and let's get busy. Okay, we need to make two of these and uh, the measurement is uh, 8125. And so we're gonna cut these at about 8250, which is what my caliper has here. And I want to put a little dicom on and then put some more dicom on. Let that dry out. getting a line there that's not quite dry enough there we go that's 8250 right there There's a 250. All right, we're going to cut one of these at a time. And we want to come in with a fairly sharp roughing end mill. It's not going to be wide enough. Okay, and I really want to make it in one pass. Is this going to work? Just barely. All right, we're 
we're going to do it in two passes. <clears throat> well, I think I'm going to hog this down to about the right size and then cut it in half and I'll get a, a little bit more accurate because it's kind of hanging out on the edges here <clears throat> although we could put uh, some stands up in under it that might work I think I'll still cut it in half. So let's uh, get a little dicum on this. Okay, so now we want to go down to inch and a quarter. So that's one inch 250 but I think what I want to do is one inch 175 just to give myself a little extra room right, we're just gonna take this thing back up Okay, so two passes, huh? Somewhere in that general area. Okay. Oh, no, we're not going to go that fast.
All right, we got that. And I'll be able to look at the video later and see why it dove in. I don't understand that, but uh, you know, that's coming. So let's take a measurement while we're here. Just make sure we're not smaller than. Uh, shit. We are. When it's two hundred, we're supposed to get a two have 250 well we're gonna flatten this off anyhow and uh, I don't know I measured that fucker what happened Okay, so just have to order another piece of material. One inch, one ninety. Okay, we'll be well. Back. Uh, you know, I cut it too short. Uh, it was supposed to be one one two five uh, which is about an eighth of an inch higher and I cut it short uh, so I got ready to order another piece and I thought well maybe I'll just give him a quick buzz and tell him what happened and he was gracious enough to change his, his design to fit what I have so we're going to continue with this project and uh, this should be pretty good so we've got two pieces each one at eight and what are we eight one two five eight and an eighth so we're just gonna put our mark right there and then come over here and put our mark right there and we got a good quarter inch of gap in between there which is fine now let's go back up to the drawing I'm not sure if you can see it it's so light but there it is so we what we have from zero here this is zero um, is hmm oh yeah he has it marked in here okay so we're gonna come out to zero and uh, come in and drill our first two holes. Oh, I see. This hole doesn't go all the way through. This hole does go all the way through. Note B. Um, okay. Note B. Quarter tap can be partially threaded with remainder low clearance, lower clearance drilled. All right, so let's just uh, reset our, put our drill chuck in. We're going to drill two holes on this end and two holes on the other end. Well, because there's two pieces. Okay, we're going to go down this side of the bar. Uh, we came in 280. We're going to going down the center of the bar all the way through, and then uh, we're going to tap it. So let's just, well, we could probably drill the second hole. Why not? 
The second hole is 960. Note a quarter tap. Okay. So second hole, 960. Yeah, there's plenty of room there. Alright, so now we're going to take a quarter 20 tap and run that down. We're going to do a spiral tap on this one. Well, probably both of them because we want the 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 uh, scrap to come out. Got a good start. to go in at 280 I believe 280 270 280 And this one will take all the way down to the bottom of the threads of the tab. It says that I don't need to go all the way, so we'll just go as far as we can. Okay. Now, our next step is three inches two fifty. Mm-hmm. Alright, so let's just go to three inches two fifty. Okay. And our size is four thirty eight well I'm guessing he wants uh, seven sixteenths four thirty seven so we'll just go with that he said there's no critical measurements except for one and that one's coming up later. 3250, is that correct? 3250. Little pilot there. Now we'll come in with that number seven. Okay. And 
I realized that we're going to come in and we're going to make a slot. So um, I think what I want to do is uh, rather than come in with a 7 16, I'm going to come in with a little bit smaller one. And that way when we plunge with the um, with the mill bit it'll be all nice one finished um, one finished uh, slot rather than have uh, marks from a drill and then the mill bit come in okay so let's slow that down well we're gonna have to slow down anyhow so. Okay, and before we change this out, we're just going to go ahead and go over and do the other one. Because the other one is at 7250. All right. Seven two fifty. Okay, so we're dead center on that hole. Let's bring that down a little bit so we can see better. And our slot is 625. Our bit is... Okay, well, a uh, couple of revelations here. One is that uh, whenever I do calculations, I need to uh, I need to um, you know 
not have you watching because <laughs> I get nervous. <laughs> and you know, there's all of you at, back behind here that are that's uh, watching out. So I have to turn you off and be in secret because I'm not real good at math and it takes me about eight different tries to finally get the right answer. Um, and we got the right answer. So what we're gonna do is, uh, hang on a sec. Let's put our bit in. <clears throat> okay, whoops, that's a little bit higher. Is that gonna be good? got my little one inch scale somewhere so that's just a little bit okay that's probably gonna work okay let's go ahead and come up I think we probably should get the water or the coolant out of the way. Now we're going to plunge straight down as far as we can till the end of the the um, cutter, and then we'll go ninety-five thousandths that way and ninety-five thousandths that way, and that's going to get us our slot. One hopes. It's time to change out the battery. Be right back. All right, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> now we're going to come back to this back one, which is at 438 no it's at 3250 oh no we gotta go all the way down Alright, so now come back to our original hole here, which is, um, let's see, where is it at? Oh, 3 to 50. Two fifty. Okay, so now we plunge down. How hot is this bit? Oh, not hot at all. <laughs> 